Hey guys, what is up? Red Panda Mining here. How you guys all doing? I hope you're all doing really well and having a great day. In this video, guys, I want to talk about Monero and their new proof of work algorithm, Random X. So, with Random X, there's been recently, in my opinion, a lot of hype about people wanting to buy a bunch of CPUs just to mine Monero. And in my opinion, I have no corals with that. I have no problems with that. I think Monero moving towards CPUs for mining, uh, for efficiency, and um, a bunch of other stuff, other reasons, is a good thing. And it's, it's really nice to see that Monero is always, you know, switching up the algorithm. And I guess in this case, they're drastically switching from uh, GPU mining uh, centric to now CPU mining centric. So there's a bunch of, of random X benchmarks that I want to go through and just to give you guys perspective and just information uh, regarding the performance for you know CPUs, uh, NVIDIA cards, AMD existing AMD cards and as well there is a random X benchmark website uh, that is made for the community that people can can um, submit their benchmarks here on the site and uh, example they'll show all the new CPUs a bunch of CPUs that people have tested and it'll show the hash rate and all that good stuff so I'll go through that in a bit so I just want to start off with I did make a video called Monero's new proof-of-work algorithm random X so this was back in June 9th 2019 and after I made this video on my on my discord channel there was <laughs> quite an influx of people wanting to buy like old servers or uh, Ryzen 7 CPUs just for Monero come come October when when they release uh, random X uh, that's what they said but um, there's a lot of hype around the new random X algorithm and I'm on example the reddit.com slash r slash Monero mining subreddit and on this subreddit, Monero Mining, there is actually a lot of different threads, a lot of different posts here regarding Random X, and people just, you know, benchmarking their CPUs, uh, benchmarking new CPUs like the 3900X, the, the new Ryzen uh, 7 3000 series CPU, and it is a it is a boss CPU for Random X. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna show you guys the numbers in a second, uh, but. In, in terms of just hype for this algorithm and uh, Monero itself, it's I can see it becoming quite uh, qu quite a big thing, and people are, are 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 seriously looking into this and possibly I don't know making a CPU mining farm or you know that kind of stuff. So it's <laughs> it's it's very interesting to see, and um, yeah. So enough of that, guys. I I want I'll give you some more perspective of my perspective. At the end of this video so let's just go through on the random X github here um, and there, there is a couple of uh, CPU performance benchmarks for some CPUs here so example the Intel Core i9 9900 K CPU okay with 32 gigs of RAM okay and on fast mode it gets about 5700 hashes per second on uh, the new random X and on the Ryzen 7, 1700, it gets around 4,100 hashes per second. And then example on an Intel Core i7-8550, uh, 8, 8, this is a laptop processor, I believe. It gets around 1,700 hashes per second on Random X. And then an i3 for comparison, i3 uh, third generation CPU. Wow, this is an old CPU. It gets 510 hashes per second. So holy smoke, that's... That's, that's, wow, that's pretty good. And then a Raspberry Pi 3, it looks like there's no number for that. But on light mode, it gets two hashes per second. So, very interesting. They have some of the benchmarks here, okay, on their GitHub. So, I now, I want to show you guys the random X for NVIDIA cards. There is a CUDA implementation for random X. So, this is, this is for NVIDIA cards. And just to give a comparison, a 1660 Ti that they showed here, uh, so existing kryptonite R on the existing algorithm that's now on Monero, it gets around 626 hashes per second at 98 watts. And then on the new, random X gets 671 at 103 watts. So it looks like, 
you know, not that much difference for NVIDIA cards. And you guys can see a whole bunch of other of other benchmarks here. 1080 Ti on Random X is 1100 ish, 200 watts. So, in my opinion, these for Nvidia mining for uh, Monero for the new Random X or any or any Kryptonite coin, it just doesn't make sense. I would not use Nvidia cards to mine uh, Monero. So, uh, let's go to the next one. Enough enough of these benchmarks. They're they're pretty low in my opinion. And then um, let's go to now the RandomX OpenCL implementation. This is for the AMD cards, okay? So they have just a few different um, different benchmarks here. Like mainly the staple AMD card for mining Monero right now is the Vega 56 and 64 uh, video cards, which I know a lot of you guys probably do have, and I know a lot of people do mine with the Vega cards. On Monero because these these cards are boss cards on Kryptonite R, but as you can see uh, existing right now you can get around 22 mega 22 hashes okay per second on Kryptonite R, but then on their random X benchmark <laughs> it shows that they're getting around 1,200 hashes per second, okay so it's it's cut in half guys this 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 random X algorithm for the Vega cards pretty much just gets cut in half. Uh, it's not not like the Nvidia cards where it's it's actually gained a bit of of hashes per second, um, so it's interesting. It's the opposite for Nvidia cards, and then for Random X, it's the opposite. It just totally gets cut in half, and it's just not efficient anymore on uh, AMD cards. So that sucks for a lot of the AMD miners that uh, were mining Monero right now. And come October, uh, when they move to Random X, if if they do, um, then that that's gonna suck. The 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 AMD guys will have to move to a different coin, uh, which I'm sure there will be like I don't know Ethereum. If they'll probably still stay with proof of stake, all that good stuff. But anyways, so that's the AMD card benchmarks. Okay, now I want to talk about the CPUs. Now there's there's a bunch of different CPUs that have been benchmarked already. Uh, there's a website here, randomx.monerobenchmarks.info. I'll have this link in the description so you guys can take a look. And as you guys can see here, at the top of the chart right now, for the highest hash rate, okay, on RandomX, look at this, 12,326 hashes per second on a R9 3, 3900X, okay, this is the latest Ryzen 7, a Ryzen 9 3900X CPU, uh, I believe it's $700 USD on Amazon right now, and this this CPU guys is is seriously a, is seriously amazing. Look at this, 1,200 hashes on Random X, and if we go down this list, you guys can see there's been more more testing. Random uh, 3900X, uh, 11,000 hashes, and then. Here we have some obscure CPUs that I haven't heard for in a long time, and the this is a this this looks like a 4x AMD Opteron 6378 CPU. Okay, I I think this is like really old, but as you guys can see, four of these AMD Opterons can get around 11,000 hashes per second at 850 watts. That is interesting. That is interesting. And um, let's let's just go through. I want to before I show you, uh, just read out some other benchmarks here. Um, it actually shows a bunch more Opteron CPUs in the in the in the benchmarks here. And uh, I, I want to show you on eBay, uh, for example, the AMD Opteron sixty three seventy eight. You guys can buy one right now for forty five dollars, twenty one dollars, thirty five dollars. Uh, a bunch of different models here for the 6300 series Opterons. $35, $83 for a set of four 6378s. So there you go. You want to you wanna hash 11,000 hashes per second on Random X? You buy four of these for 84 bucks, and you're a you're done deal right there. Look at that. Uh, it may not be, be quite efficient. I mean, 815 watts is, is quite a bit, but I guess comparing it to like like 10 or 11 Vega 64 cards, uh, it's probably a lot more efficient on these Opteron cards, for example. But uh, you can see the, these CPUs, these Opteron CPUs are super cheap. 
And I guess by the time you guys see this video, I'm going to expect uh, a whole crap load of people to buy these. Uh, ah, just kidding. Uh, maybe I might buy one after this just to get one, maybe, because it's so cheap. I'm, I might, I may do a test or something. And I know a lot of Discord members that I have have been trying to buy uh, some older CPUs and servers, Dell servers and stuff for... Uh, uh, for the new random X so and as well of course I can't forget the motherboards that have to go with these Opteron uh, these Opteron car uh, CPUs so it has to go with the uh, G34 socket I believe Opteron 6200 or 6300 compatible motherboard so there's one here for about 140 bucks uh, there's another one here for $105 oh this one comes with two Opterons ha huh, amazing and uh, look, $75, $649, $99, $140, and so on. But you can see these motherboards are an, an ex obscure, uh, obscure size, so it won't fit in a regular case. I think you'd have to get like a ETX motherboarded case or something, or just, I don't know, do it like mining rigs. Are people going to create like a, a mining rig that's for CPU mining now? So it's a mining rig for CPUs, and you just have your 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 motherboard sit on top of a wood platform or something and you're just using that to mine Monero I man come October I think there's gonna be a lot of funky stuff happening <laughs> if random X comes out people are gonna create a lot of funny stuff so I'm I'm gonna be preparing for that and uh, it's gonna be an interesting time for Monero indeed for sure uh, so just to end off, guys, it looks like um, it's not just AMD car, uh, AMD CPUs that, that are going to dominate, but it looks like some Intel Xeon processors are also pretty good. Uh, look at this Xeon E7 8837 processor, uh, 9100 hashes per second, and then a Xeon E5, I think this is an older generation CPU, 2687. Uh, 9000 hashes, let's, let's just keep going down just so I can show you guys. Uh, a Threadripper 1950X, okay, so this is an existing uh, a first gen Threadripper and it gets around 8200 hashes. Pretty good. Uh, 4X AMD Opteron 6234, uh, Threadripper, Threadripper 1920X 6400 hashes, uh, Ryzen 5 3600, so 6200 hashes. And so on guys, so take a look at these, take a look at these benchmarks guys, it's, it's quite interesting. Um, of course, it looks like the king right now is the Ryzen 9 3900X. I'm kind of curious what the TDP on that is. I think it's 250 watts, but I guess when it's mining, it could be maybe 300 or 400 watts uh, TDP. So, and anyways, guys, let me know what you think. I, I, I really want to gauge the community on on some people that are, are, are Monero fanboys and really love Monero and the new Random X. And I want to know if you are buying server hardware, old server hardware, uh, to get ready for Random X come October. So it's going to be an interesting time indeed. I, I'm very interested in what's going to happen to the hash rate, uh, how much of the community is going to get into this. And uh, it's, it's definitely something new and exciting that CPU mining is back, you know? Like, they should, they should have like a slogan for Monero, like... CPU mining is back baby or something like something funny but interesting to see see like server hardware is like dirt cheap on eBay and everywhere Craigslist I'm sure you guys can find really cheap hardware but anyways guys let me know what you think I appreciate all of you and smash that like button if you guys think this is a great video if not hit that dislike button but get subscribed guys click the notification bell all that good stuff and I will see you guys in the next video have a good one guys and peace out